Greetings all, I am Rugger coming to you from the lounge by the bunker. Hey, today, want to do a quick call out. So, observation this weekend. Uh, if in fact, you lived through 2020, like everyone on earth did, um, and you lived through the pandemic and the threats to our supp supply chains, and if you observed what happened in Texas here the last couple of weeks, uh, with the grid going down, and you are not better prepared than you were before these uh, two incidents, I really would encourage you to take pause and uh, do some preps uh, for the future. Um, what we saw in Texas, the grid went down for, uh, you know, in some places for a week, uh, even a, a few more days after that. And uh, due to a aging infrastructure and uh, severe cold weather, uh, in a place that really uh, was not used to it. And, uh, you know, very quickly the store shelves were bare. Uh, people did not have food. So if you do not have at least two weeks of food uh, in your house some water, some other provisions, uh, please, uh, I encourage you to consider doing that immediately. Uh, there were people that uh, simply did not have any food um, almost immediately. You know, they live in a a just-in-time uh, society and uh, think they can go to the restaurant or the uh, the store basically every day and uh, they were lined up for uh, supplies and and all kinds of stuff uh, even after a very short time period one week and and certainly uh, in some places uh, if the grid was down uh, for longer than a week uh, the situation even became more desperate now my observation um, you know, I, uh, I I thought the folks that uh, I hang around with and and uh, socialize with, and you know, I I thought we would be of the uh, the ilk of um, perhaps being more prepared. But I did uh, after the Texas incident. I um, I did some woodworking and I I made um, some emergency candles. So this is repurposed uh, wood from a, a limb that in a windstorm had had come down, and I placed a a five hour emergency candle. So I, I made a bunch of these uh, for my buddies uh, for a Saturday uh, morning men's group and uh, took everybody candles a couple weeks ago. And um, and uh, this week uh, they started talking about it. They they took candles home, most of them were married, you know, showed them to their wives and, and there were some discussions going on. And uh, one discussion was uh, one of the wives said, hey, this is a great idea. Uh, I'm very thankful that, you know, we've got a candle now that if, in fact, uh, the electricity goes out for a short time period, we've got a candle. And that guy said, yeah, you know, and, and we also have probably a dozen flashlights. Well, that started the discussion, and I was extremely amazed. Um, everyone in the group was like, why <laughs> why do you have uh, 12 flashlights? Why, you know, what would you do with 12 flashlights? In my mind, I was thinking... I'm glad that I gave him a redundant system uh, because I believe you not only need to have candles and, say, flashlights, uh, but you need additional redundant systems like uh, glow sticks or kerosene lamps or things of that nature. And uh, really, this guy kind of got called out for uh, being silly for having up to, to 12 flashlights in his home even though I thought he was unprepared because uh, he was relying on essentially battery operated uh, emergency um, preparations alone and not having redundant systems. And uh, I quickly realized that this individual uh, that they were kind of making fun of actually was probably the most prepared of the group. And the rest of the group is like, you know, uh, why would you do that? Why would you have so many flashlights? So. Again, if in fact you have not made provisions uh, for an emergency grid down situation, if you do not have two weeks worth of food in your home at a minimum, if you don't have some water uh, stored away in your home, uh, adequate supply of um, common medicines and or medicines that you need on a daily basis, uh, some medical supplies, if you don't have books uh, that uh, give you some first aid skills, and or perhaps show you uh, what kind of edibles are in your, in your area and or how to heat your home safely. 
uh, in case um, a, uh, the grid goes down. I would encourage you to become uh, more prepared. Um, quite frankly, I guess, you know, I'll kind of sum it up with uh, where I started with. If you live through the pandemic, you know, the threats to our uh, supply chains, and uh, if you have not witnessed how, you know, really at risk many of those supply chains, and certainly uh, the utilities grids are the elect uh, electrical grid, if you have observed what has occurred in Texas and, and you know, how much trouble folks got into uh, when it got cold and the electricity went off uh, simply for a week, um, I would encourage you to just take a few moments. Uh, please get some provisions in your home, uh, in your apartment where you're staying. Make sure you have enough food, water, and uh, lighting sources, medicine, other things, blankets. Uh, just to uh, make sure that you're self-sufficient uh, for at least, you know, I'm just going to throw out a, a time frame, but for at least uh, two weeks without government and or other support if things were to go sideways. So, viewers, subscribers, tell me what I've done well here, what I could do better. This is I Am Rugger coming to you from the lobby by the bunker. And as always... Let's be safe out there.